All right, I wanna show you how to set up the walkie-talkie feature on the Apple Watch. It's super slick, it's super easy, and we're also gonna go through um, adding friends, removing friends, uh, doing some troubleshooting if you encounter different situations, like maybe you're missing the app altogether or an invitation's not working or something like that. Uh, so we're gonna run through a lot of information um, and let's get to it. All right, so right now, oh, let, we're actually seeing an issue right now. So let's hit reconnect. Okay. So now we're good. It's reconnecting back. If I just hold it and talk back and forth, all I got to do is hold it. Let's get this set up. So, hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. So you can see how that works. Let's get this set up. I'm gonna wipe these out, these settings out, and get us uh, back to square one. All right, so let's go. Whoops, swipe Heather to the left. Swipe Jesse to the left. Boom. If I was ever encountering some major issues, uh, what I would when this doesn't work this is one of the troubleshooting steps that I would want to use is just to on both the watches remove that user or that friend right and then go and re-add them on one of them so I'm gonna go on this one and I'm gonna choose Heather and I'm inviting her and it's gonna say Jesse Edberg wants to talk with you over walkie-talkie always allow or dismiss if she clicks dismiss we're just gonna do it and if she clicks decline you're gonna notice on the other Apple watch that the invitation is still looking like it was sent and that we're waiting for the invitation, but yet Heather actually declined me and uh, didn't want to talk to me, didn't want me <laughs> uh, walkie talkie in with her. So we have to click on Heather again and we're going to say invite again. We're going to nag her. Come on, accept me. And let's say she says, always allow. Now we're set up where we are friends and we can, either one of us can go and push that button at any point in time without actually sending a request. That is a little bit scary. So let me show you how to prevent that from happening. All right. So if, if I click that, it'll just go through on, on the other Apple watch. If I don't want that to happen, what I can do is I can I can click on Jesse up in there and I can scroll up to the top. I can either uncheck the walkie talkie there and or let me just show or I can do it from the home uh, the control panel screen and it's down at the bottom here. So now I just enabled it. Let me go back and disable it. And now what it shows on the other Apple Watch is that I need to reconnect. What will happen on the Apple Watch is it won't allow them to walkie-talkie you, but it'll ask you and say, hey, do you, you know, we're showing him that you were unavailable. Do you want to talk with him? All right? So you say, talk with Jesse or... You just close out of it, right? And nothing happens. Heather is not available. But if I click it again, it's going to ask her again. And she might say, okay, fine. I'll talk with Jesse. And then it's going to connect it back up. And it's going to... Boom. And then it's all set up. All right, one of the things that uh, you need to think about is do you, uh, uh, 
Well, one thing to note is that this works with all Apple Watches. Apple Watch uh, Series 1, Apple Watch Series 2, Apple Watch Series 3, Apple Watch Series 4, and Apple Watch Series 5, which is out right now. It does. They all require to have at least Watch OS 5 or later. So Watch OS 5 is uh, what came out with this feature. Um, and watch OS 6 is what is out right now. So you need to have at least one of those Preferably watch OS 6 uh, All the way updated because that's truly going to be your best experience uh, With any Apple technology uh, Always get them updated. All right, and so uh, Now that we've mentioned that We've done a walkie-talkie. We've set someone up um, if we ever encounter a problem, we remove the person on each. Uh, we also reboot the Apple Watch if need be. You can just hold this little button on the side here. It'll say power off, power it off, turn it back on, and uh, um, see if it fixes any of your issues. Um, <clears throat> you know that you need to resend the invitation if they by chance maybe hit dismiss or something like that um, as a last resort um, you know you might have to reset the Apple watch in the event maybe the Apple watch did not have um, that the walkie-talkie app on it right and it was updated to watch OS 5 and for some odd reason it was missing the walkie-talkie app then what you'd want to do is go check for updates see if there's any updates run those updates see if it fixes your problem and re-downloads that app um, see if and, and you're not going to be able to go into the app store because that's not really going to help you so you would have to reset that Apple watch which would then bring back that missing app um, um, let me think what else and yeah that's really it I think uh, I think we covered oh no we didn't we didn't finish okay so <laughs> I wanted to let you also know how far can it communicate so is if my wife is in Japan and I'm here in the US is this gonna work well, as long as that Apple Watch can communicate with Wi-Fi and or uh, cellular network connection, it might need to be tethered to the Apple uh, iPhone um, because some of the older Apple Watches needed that and didn't have their own uh, communication to cell and Wi-Fi. So now, um, as long as it can have that communication and it basically communicates with a FaceTime audio is what I've read and um, it communicates and it can go as far as you can go anywhere in the world is my guess um, so hopefully you got subscribed to the channel hopefully you've clicked the alert button and uh, you are uh, getting your Apple Watch walkie-talkie action on. And you have an awesome week. Take care. See you next week. I'm in a perfect scenario where we can do a little bit of troubleshooting and see if we can get this resolved. Uh, one of the first and easiest ways to do it is to just remove the person and re-add them. So let's say and you might want to do that on both phones so because if i remove it from this device and now i will go back and try to re-add click on her
Boom. And that fixed it. Isn't that slick? So that was an easy way to fix it. If that did not fix it, what I would have done is I would have deleted Jesse from this phone over here as well. I would have deleted Heather from that one, or uh, not from this phone, from this Apple Watch. I would have deleted Jesse from this Apple Watch, Heather from this Apple Watch, uh, seeing if that worked. All right, get subscribed. You guys have a great week, and I will chat with you next week. Take care.